Alrighty, folks. Oh, we're uh, that thing. we're following up from the video this morning of the live uh, live video that I did at the boat ramp, and it's 12 o'clock, and we finally caught. Look at that! Beautiful. The speckly bastard. <laughs> we finally got one. Chris traveled all the way from New Jersey. Yes, sir. And we finally got one, and it's a sweetheart. You don't even have to measure them. Beautiful, man. Look how beautiful he is. My favorite fish of all time. I lose sleep over these. It smells like a brook trout. Yeah, they do have a smell, <laughs> don't they? And these eat good. You fry them up. Beautiful, man. So. I gotta get a good picture of him. Okay. Well, let me, uh, yeah, take, take let, me, let me put this up here. I'm gonna do a no edit video, so hold on, folks. No edit. Okay, let's get this out of them. Ready? Choke that thing, huh? Oh, yeah. See how that hook got him behind that end and all? In the real meat? Beautiful. Even hard. Yeah, not like the mangrove. Okay. Mangrove staffer have been our nemesis all day long. <laughs> As you know, they're highly invasive in the St. John's River, and I've been telling Chris that 30 years ago I never caught a mangrove snapper. Now you're going to hold them. Okay. Let me get out something to hang <laughs> I'll take a picture of you. You don't want a picture beautiful, of me. Beautiful, beautiful. You don't want a picture of Dave holding one. <laughs> So, let me get a video of me taking a picture of you. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is you want to do the old sideways kind of hole. Okay, we don't even have to measure this one. He's a good one. A little, a little bit more. Hey, right there, right there. I went all the way to Florida and I caught this here trout. Yes, sir. Okay, we're going to measure him up. That John's nice. Okay, he's... He's definitely a keeper. Okay. And he's a 17 incher. They have to only, they gotta be 15 inches a piece. Let me show you what else we caught and we're keeping. It ain't much, but it's a little. So. I just got done telling Chris about April 29th of 2009. I was fishing with a customer, Dave Cohen, from Virginia Beach. We were backed up to a, a pier like this, and I made three drifts. First drift was a three pounder, second drift was a five pounder, and the third drift was a 10 pound, 31 inch. I'm getting back in. Go ahead. <laughs> We're getting lean on the shrimp. Yeah, we Because are. guess what? We fed them all to mangrove <laughs> snappers. And then look at this. We caught ourselves a little itsy bitsy bank bass. But he has no limit, so his ass is going in the box. We got these mangroves. That's a good one right there. Anything to give Chris a sandwich. It's called working on a sandwich in the St. John's. Working on a sandwich. Woo! I need a sandwich. Oh my God! Just follow the end of the line. He is way, way out Woo! there. I'm putting it on him. Oh my God! I said, who let them dogs out? He's coming. Okay, he's coming? Yeah, he's coming. I thought he was gonna Don't go around him. the end of the rocks on you. Don't lose him. Come on. Oh yeah, get on him because this is, it's black or white. There ain't no gray here. Oh, by the way, if you don't know, this is Chris from New Jersey. How y'all doing? <laughs> oh, it's uh, the man in the brown suit. Man in the brown suit. Son of a bitch. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. There he is! There he is! Woo! There he is! Dad, you're gonna have to take a picture when you can. Take a bunch of them. Right in the corner of the mouth, and he's not hooked good. He's not hooked good. All right. Ain't done yet! Boy. I'm, up a little bit more I'm trying, man! 
<laughs> you bring them up. <laughs> you bring them up. I'm doing the crotch. He's going in the crotch. We're crotch fishing. We're crotch fishing, boys. Oh yeah! Slipping. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a release on him with the old releaser here, but I need him to slow down a little bit. Just just ten minutes ago, we were sitting filling the box full of whiting. He's got a remora on his back. Yes, sir. This will wear him out. So you believe in that ugly stick tiger chicken rod? I believe in it, man. He's a believer. He loves them ugly sticks. Who wants to come out and do this? Let's go. Obviously a young guy. How old are you? 24. 24 years old. He still got it in him. Still got it, man. Me and his dad, we don't have it in him. We don't have it in us. Yeah, so I get him close. I got it, man. I got it. Oh, no. He ain't done yet. See how to get four line out there? He ain't done. And you got to get it back. He ain't done. Give and go. Warming up on the whiting. That was just a warmer up. That, folks. Okay, Chris. I think I got a couple decent pictures, Chris. Let's let's take a look at a face that's been brutalized. <laughs> <laughs> He's got sweat rolling out. Yes, sir. Hey, guess what? I'm feeling just fine. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We actually had probably that same shark bite three other two or three other times. And not take the complete croaker and then finally. The boat spun completely around and we were fishing 180. Hey, get that water. <laughs> so, okay. I just thought, there's another jetty shark. Yes, sir. 